Hey, Crafty Besties. It's your Crafty Bestie, Tabby. I hope you've had a good week. I have had um, the longest first week of the year ever. Yeah, it's been kind of rough. Um, just saying. But we finished December Ember. I still have to put Effie away. Because if my Effie needs to hibernate too. And I started Junk Journal January. And I'll just do you a quick flip of what I've done so far. So this was day one. This was our resolutions. That one's really private, so I covered it up. Um, then the next prompt, the second prompt was, quote, Life is an adventure or nothing at all. Helen Keller, it's one of my favorite quotes. This was throwback. And so I have a coffee table book of Vogue covers. And I'll show it to you. This coffee table book, can you see it? From 1909 to 1940. And uh, that's the back of it. And it doesn't have an ISBN number. I don't think. I don't see one. Anyway, it's all these amazing Vogue covers. I mean, you guys, this is pretty awesome. The Vogue covers in this. The art is beautiful. And it has inspired me to start a different project. But we'll talk about that later. Maybe in another video. Um, so this was throwback. So the Vogue covers, these were from 1917. And I thought they were absolutely beautiful. They were all by Helen Dryden. So, yeah, I thought those were gorgeous. And this is the Tuck Spot prompt. Um, it's this, this challenge for Junk Journal January is sponsored by Meg Journals and Get Messy. So, I thought I'd participate. Get Messy gave some really cute freebie printables. And so, they're featured in this one. But this is daily log, and that's my daily vitamin log. Time to take your vitamins. This one, oh, this is tomorrow, but we'll show you tomorrow. This one is memory. So this is a memory of me and my sister. I used one of those little Tim Holtz paper dolls. And this is a piece of fabric from my crafty bestie, Rory. She sent me some stuff in, in, a swap, in the swap for Effie's door. So there's that, and that's where I got that flower. You can see where I cut it out. So you could, don't have to use fabric the way other people use it. It just can be your own. And this one is tomorrow's, which is stitched. And um, this is notes on sewing from my mama. Get your thread and your materials together with swatches and then cut out your pattern. So this is, you know, stitched. I stitched together the samples. This is fabric. This is actually a freebie printable. And this is to represent the interfacing of the skirt. But it's coffee dyed paper that I coffee dyed myself. But this that it's glued on is an old simplicity pattern. And then the next prompt is neutral. So that'll be next week. Um... So if you haven't, if you're not doing Junk Journal January, it's fun. You can jump in at any point. I put it in a regular, I got a pretty stiff piece of cardstock that I decided to use for the cover. Because I might just take it, you know, in the center. How, how we do the center. Find it. The center. And I did um, a five hole pamphlet stitch and just sewed over and under and over and under and tied it at the end. Um, and I might put it in a bigger journal cover and then it'll just be labeled Junk Journal January. And then I might use elastics to hold everything in. But this was some beautiful craft paper that was gifted to me, so I decided I liked it so much I was going to make it the cover of Junk Journal January. So that's what I'm working on right now. Off and on after work. Um, 
But I had somebody ask me, because I love to use these. You know how we love to edge stuff. You know, we be getting our, we'll be getting our inks or our oxide, distressed oxides. And we'll edge up, you know, the corners of things to make them stand out more and give them a more aged look instead of burning them like people used to. <laughs> that was amazing and crazy. Um, somebody said, well, what if I don't have one of these? You don't have to have one of these to do that. You can use a makeup sponge, which you've seen me use this makeup sponge for different colors. And I don't have enough of these for all the colors of oxide ink that I have. And you don't really like to, people don't like to mix their oxide inks. But these look the same, don't they? Hmm. I, I tend to mix mine. But some people don't want to do that. But what if you don't even have these? You can use one of these. This is the, just a regular makeup sponge that people are using. These are pretty effective. But maybe you don't have that. I'm sure somewhere in all of your house, you have spools of thread. These just happen to be old spools that um, actually one of my crafty besties um, said, Hey, Tab, do you need some spools for anything? Because I just finished using a couple spools of yarn that I've had forever. And you can tell they were had forever because they were, this one was 29 cents. This one looks like it was 50 cents, but... Anyway, I said yes, and I know just what to do. I'm going to show you all how you can make your own ink dauber, or what I call a boot, boot, boot brush, because George started calling it that, and I thought it was hilarious, and so now I call it that. So you can either use double-sided score tape, or if you want a more permanent thing, you can use tacky glue. And I have, I bought a package of these because I really wore one of these out. And so I bought a package of these. And if I was smart, I would have had some Velcro, but I don't have any Velcro in my stash. I looked, and I don't have any. So you could glue down some Velcro, or you can take the double-sided score tape. This is, I don't know what size. This is, this is quarter-inch score tape. And you can put it, because it's double-sided tape, so you can put it on your spool. And you don't have to be precise or perfect. That's why I love this kind of crafting. This is crafting on the fly. Maybe that's what I should have called this channel instead of Crafty Bestie. But crafting on the fly. And now I have to figure out how to peel these off. I'm not good at peeling stickers either, so y'all know the struggle that I have, so y'all can laugh. <laughs> it's okay to laugh. I laugh at me too. Anyway, you get the idea, and then you stick it on the double-sided score tape, and then when you're done, you can just pull it off, and you can put new score tape on it, or, which is what I want to do on this, is use the Oh, look. Now it did. Now it pulled up for me. Anyway, that's the idea there. And on this one, I'm actually just going to glue this on here. And when you're done, and this actually is a little bit more friendly for those of us who have sore thumbs after typing all week. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm going to cover this up. I'm going to take some Aline's Tacky Glue because it's my thickest, most reliable glue. And it will work and this will stick, stick, stick. And then I can still, let me get something else that needs to be edged up. This page, because I'm going to use this page in a journal. I was prepping some journal pages, and I stick stuff to the side so you don't have to see my whole mess. And just ink it up. And see? Well, if you wait for the glue to dry, 
that was that was not a good choice not waiting for the glue to dry but anyway you see that it does work on these I gotta wait for the glue to dry so we're gonna wait for the glue to dry but while I'm here I am gonna finish edging up this paper this is gonna be part of a journal signature and if you're new to junk journaling you might be like Tabitha what is a signature why do you call it a signature I don't know why they call it a signature but a signature in a journal is the pages that are sewn into the journal so I'm going to show you my Alice project that we've been working on that I love so much I might try to do a page in Alice today and shout out to my brother-in-law who gave me all these trays um, that I can put individual projects in. A signature, let me set that aside. Here's my Alice journal. And this is what I've been doing to keep track of everything. I put the ephemera and the stickers and everything in this box. Try and stay organized-ish. And I did finish the cover of it. I chose this as my cover. So I really love that. And then this is the page one. Well, the signatures are how you sew the pages in. So you see this one has three signatures. It's three separate sections of paper in the world. Oh, that's tickets. I, I did a die cut with tickets on this. It should go in the box. But that is what a signature is. Ooh. All of my stickers are in there, too. <laughs> See, I'm trying to keep everything together. I got a bunch of Alice stickers. Because I thought these would be fun. For this journal. And we did that first page, which is, it's always time for tea. It's always tea time couple of tea bags and so I'm gonna leave that page blank for journaling maybe we could put a coffee dyed paper for journaling on it I know I have coffee dyed pages this is a page of junk mail that I coffee dyed and we're going to just tear it down because I like that torn edge look. We're going to tear it all the way around. But yeah, what I did <clears throat> to make this, I thought it was, this is pretty thick paper. This was junk mail. And I had a pan. A baking pan and I put some extra coffee in it and extra coffee right y'all know me there's no extra coffee I intentionally put some coffee in a pan to make this and I did this over a year ago but you can write on this so we'll write on that we'll glue this down and we'll decorate the side of it but of course, you know what I'm going to do first. I'm going to get my little ink dauber, a.k.a. the boot, boot, boot brush. And we're going to edge it up. And just decorate this page while we talk today. You guys, I had so much fun during December. Ember. Thanks for watching my videos. And thanks for hanging out and giving suggestions. You can always leave comments. Comments are always welcome. Good, bad, or indifferent. Tell me how to improve. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you'd like to know. If you're new to this junk journal thing, um, I started doing this in 2020 because I was looking for a way that I could create a meaningful gift for people in my family and not spend a lot of money. And the reason that it's called junk journaling is because people started 
making these when times were tough and they were grabbing their junk mail to, to do it. That looks pretty. That was part of whatever this was. Um, and I'm going to tear off the barcode because we don't need that. And I can cover that with something. And I thought I was going to make a side thing with this, but I'm not. Um, that's the problem when you have a lot of art supplies. You have a lot of choices. Ooh, music. Nice. We can put a piece of music here. And then we can put some stickers. We'll lay these stickers out. Let's see what we want to use. We could put the tickets on. No, that's the same matchy-matchy. I want to be that matchy-matchy. That. We could actually make this into a tuck spot over here. Yeah, let's do that. Make a little tuck spot over here. And I'm going to use the good glue, the art glitter glue, today. I haven't been in here in a while. So we're going to see if it actually, it's not going to come out there. Because I really need to give this a hot bath to get the glue out. This seems a little clogged too, so I'm just going to run this pin in here and try to loosen the glue. There we go. Hi Jasper. Jasper wants to come play with us today too. Let's put this here. And glue this at, oh, all the way around all three sides. Tuck spot. Tuck spot, not belly band. Tuck spot. And it's a little too short. Hmm. Let's take that off while it's still not stuck yet. And we'll go back to that music paper. Can be our tuck spot. Let's take some of this off at the bottom. This is actually vintage music paper, um, but it was falling apart and it was not good for a musician, but it's good for me. <laughs> and I really don't have to edge this because it's already got a beautiful patina. And it's got a lot of age on it anyway. But I'm going to edge it up just because cause I like to. What, what are y'all's favorite things to do when you craft? What do you like to use? Some people don't even like to junk journal because they don't like the way the papers feel or they haven't found a paper or a medium that they like yet. So tell me in the comments, what do you like to use? What would you like to see me use more of or less of? Well, maybe we won't do this for writing. Maybe we'll just decorate this page for fun and have fun with it. I hope you guys had a happy new year. I hope that you are encouraged to do big things this year. I'm just going to make it a tough spot. And I'm going to use this as the journal card. Try to straighten it up a little. Um, so over New Year's, I did nothing. 
um, over Christmas. Went to see my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law and went and spent the night with my mama. <laughs> yes, I still like to go spend the night with my mama. I'm just gonna take these hideous edges off and make it round like a journal card. It's been tough. This was probably the hardest holiday season I've ever gone through. Honestly, on a personal level. And, um, well, maybe not the hardest ever. But it's, it's been the toughest one in the last few years. And you would, I would think that sometimes that after you've dealt with loss, it would get easier. Sometimes I think it just gets harder. And since Alice is talking to the Cheshire Cat in the tree, I think we should put the Cheshire Cat here. Just for fun. Because it's my journal and I get to make it as fun as I want. <laughs> and isn't this a fun sticker of the Hatter? But I'm not going to use it on this page. And there's the Johnny Depp as the Hatter. And then here's the ha uh, the Hatter and the Drink Me. And this is a good one, I think, of classic Alice. And I'm going to put her right here at the bottom of the music. See the struggle that I have? Dealing with sticker. I'm just going to put Alice on the music. She's having a thoughtful time. So yeah, I got all kinds. I mean, these are fun stickers, and they're not all just, the, oh, this is the Hatter. And then this is Alice. You can learn a lot of things from the flowers, truly. And there's Alice and the Caterpillar and Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And there's like a vintage Alice and a hatter and a hair at the tea party. So, yeah, these are fun. They're not all the same, like from one in the same cartoon, which I love. And I'm going to put those away. And I'm going to uh, grab this and ink it up a little. Because I'm going to put it on the vellum page. Because I love vellum pages. And when you stick the stickers on the vellum pages. You're going to see this from the other side. But I will find some way to cover it or decorate it. So I'll show you what it will look like from the other side. When we flip the page. But you'll see this covering Alice's face, but then you'll see all the things that we did. And I am going to put a belly band on this page. But probably not this one. Um, so that's where we are in the Alice journal. So we've done another page together. I need to make a card for here. And I think I have a card. Good tag. So this tag is a lot, like, we need to stain this up. Because that looks too new and pristine to be in a journal of mine. But, or one of these journal, this journal in specific, but. Age up this tag. And make it look a little more vintage. So, I'm going to pop it in here, and I'll write a note on it later. But so far, we have done this one, we've done this, we need to do some decorating here. 
I'm going to probably leave that blank. I like this little flippy thing that I did right here, which was the other side of that envelope. And we need to do some more decorating here. But I think that will be the first signature, and then we'll move on to the second. And we've got some interesting ways that this envelope goes. We'll have to find something to go in this. But, um, yeah, Alice and... Oh, look, she's got a doily in this one. So, we've got a lot of things to think about with a tea party. But that's where we are here. So, I do hope that you always remember that you are loved, you matter, and you are enough. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video.